so we have thomas brown where when we think thomas brown is uh, what we call polymath one who is good at a lot of fields english a physician and writer when we think of him we think of a uh, lot of other works of course one of these works by religio medici remember this work by thomas brown religio medici a similar sounding title given by uh, dryden religio medici m e d i c i so as i told you he is a physician so he was a physician so no wonder he wrote about something with the religion of a physician so that's the title religio medici then his most famous work hydrotaphia h y d r i o t a p h i a look at the subtitle this work as i told you before this guy uh, brown is was a polymath so somehow he started writing a kind of a detailed dissertation or a treatise on urn burial so uh, what we say in tamil uh, uh, urn in which we put an old woman or old man uh, who are about to die we put some food there and light whatever we have and we buried them so kind of uh, euthanasia at that time mercy killing so uh, urn so this is called uh, yes mudumakkal thali yes uh, mudumakkal thali thali is an urn for old people so uh, when we go for this archaeological sites we find lot of urns so this thomas brown came up with hydrotaphia it's a dissertation or a treatise on urn burial or a discourse of the sepulchral urns lately found in norfolk norfolk is interesting you know norfolk also comes in uh, where uh, norfolk actually is a place uh, which also comes in a famous ballad anyone remembers the ballad in which uh, two children are taken by his uncle and finally they are left to die in a in in the woods and finally robin redbreast the birds they come and pay tribute to these uh, two children who died there and the ballad uh, is also referred to in um, Uh, in an essay uh, by uh, ilia yes uh, yes uh, yes ilia no dream children okay in dream children yes these children are uh, referred to and it's uh, babes in the woods that's the ballad where that thing happened in norfolk similar way norfolk here so it happened in norfolk so that could be an archaeological exploration where they found lot of urns so this is a detailed description of those urns maybe those urns were from anglo saxon period during the anglo saxon period so now uh, another famous work by brown the garden of cyrus so this is a companion to this work so in hydrotaphia he worked on urn burial its companion it's called uh, dip d i p t y c h dip touch companion kind of a mirror work the garden of cyrus 1658 so in this work it's an ambitious work so in this work he talks about the quincensical losange l o z e n g e or network plantations of ancients naturally artificially mystically considered simply put say look at in those days when you go for this uh, horticulture gardening so the book is about gardening the first is on about uh, urn this is about gardening so in those days they had a pattern so when we go for gardening so look at the uh, shape or arrangement of the trees so it's like looks like a square so each end we have a tree in the middle we have a tree so totally five so this five is called quincensical and this is how just imagine you have lot of five 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 so that's how a, a plantation is created why this kind of a structure because if if there is a storm the storm won't affect this trees much if you follow this pattern quincensical losange pattern because somehow the air would escape through this pattern if you have other patterns these trees would be knocked down of course here trees uh, would be knocked down but minimally so that is the logic behind going for this pattern in horticulture 
So taking this as the base, Thomas Brown works on some of the symbols in nature. First, he focused on the twin skunks. So that's what he claimed in the title. So this is the subtitle of this work, Garden of Cyrus. So quincunks, Q-U-I-N-C-U-N-X, quincunks. So this is the shape. So kind of a square, uh, each end has a dot and the middle you have a dot. Quincunks is also called losange, L-O-Z-E-N-G. So simply put, using this as a symbol, he studied number five. Number five in the sense, uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, or the shape X, which also has five. The shape X has five, four corners and the middle one, five, or the network pattern, what you see on the screen. This is the network pattern. So in detail, I would say in meticulous detail, Thomas Brown studied the number five or X or network pattern in nature. For instance, he studied uh, uh, animals and their bones. So if you take a bone and the edge of a bone, uh, uh, one connecting to the other has this uh, shape X or flowers. There are a lot of flowers which have five petals or you have take a fruit, for instance, pineapple that uh, you have that uh, kind of a pie shape uh, corners or you go for a honeycomb where you have that uh, pie shape or uh, uh, kind of a, a shape. So he studied all these things in detail. It's a full of list. The entire work is full of list focusing on quincunx, losange, phi, x or network pattern. Uh, that's brown for you. 